If you're watching this video, the chances are that you either live in a country where they already have a 5G new radio network, or you live in a country where they're about to launch the 5G networks. Either way, you may have questions like, do I need a new phone for 5G? Or do I need a new SIM card for 5G? These are the kind of questions that we will cover in this video. So I'm sure you've been using the 4G networks for a very long time. And the 4G networks use a technology called LTE or long-term evolution. 4G mobile phones are LTE compatible, which means that they're able to connect to the LTE base station E node B or Evolve node B to connect you to the 4G network. 5G networks are based on a new technology called New Radio NR. The base station in 5G networks is called G node B or next generation node B. Now, if you want to connect to the 5G network, you must be able to connect to this G node B, which uses a completely different technology than 4G. Now, that means that if you want to access the 5G network, you need a 5G compatible phone that can connect you to the G node B. 5G networks are very different from 4G LTE networks, which is why they're able to provide you much higher data rates compared to the 4G networks. 4G LTE networks use multiple antennas to connect you to the mobile network using a technology MIMO or MIMO, which means multiple input, multiple output. MIMO is an advanced antenna technology that provides you not only better coverage, but also higher data rates. 5G NR networks take MIMO to a whole new level. In 5G, the antenna technology is called Massive MIMO or Massive MIMO. Now, as the word massive suggests, there is a massive number of antennas involved. 4G LTE networks use a technology called OFDMA or Tognal Frequency Division Multiple Access to transmit from the base station to your mobile phone. LTE networks also use SCFDMA, Single Carrier Frequency Division Multiple Access, to send any messages from your phone to the base station. 5G networks use OFDMA in both directions, which is different from 4G LTE. 5G networks also use a much bigger range of frequencies. Mobile networks are generally backwards compatible, which means that if you have a 5G phone, it'll still work with 4G, 3G, and 2G networks as well. Similarly, if you have a 4G LTE phone, it will not only support the 4G LTE technology, but it will also support 3G and 2G technologies. Now let's talk about the SIM card. Do you need a new SIM to access 5G networks? The simple answer is no. Your existing 4G LTE SIM card can support 5G as well. That is because ever since they launched the 3G networks, they had a new standard for SIM cards called USIM. USIM allows SIM cards to be backwards and forwards compatible, which means not only will they support the earlier technologies, but also future technologies. Now, just to be clear, this USIM standard is for UMTS networks. So if you are on a UMTS track, then the SIM card should be backwards and forwards compatible. Having said that, it is possible that your mobile operator may advise you to buy a new SIM card to access 5G. But you just need to know that there is no technical reason for you to get a new SIM card to access 5G. A SIM card is a combination of hardware and software, which means that there are often updates that can make your SIM card more secure. But from a pure technical perspective, you do not need a new SIM card to access 5G as long as you have a 3G UMTS compatible SIM or 4G LTE SIM. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I have written a very comprehensive post on this topic, and there is a link in the description below.